We've talked a little bit about, or a, look, a lot about uh, BTK inhibitor-based therapy with CB20 antibody. I wonder if you can give us your opinion on BCL2 inhibitor or venetoclax-based therapy and CB20 antibody, and if we think that's important. So um, if, if you compare the monotherapy venetoclax, so mo most of these studies um, are, we're talking about are in relapse disease, but if you compare the Murano study with um, the, the monotherapy study. There are some uh, subtle differences of adding an antibody to a venetoclax-based therapy. First of all, bulky adenopathy, which was adverse in the uh, monotherapy, was no longer adverse when you're combining it with, re with rituxan. Um, and secondly, if you look at the depth of response, there's much higher rates of uh, disease clinical MRD negativity. And so while there's been a number of retrospective cross-trial comparisons that show that this, they, they can't prove there's a, a benefit. There's been no head-to-head -head venetoclax with an antibody versus venetoclax single agent. I, I think it's likely that if you're getting more disease clearance, if we accept minimal residual disease negativity as an endpoint, it's likely to translate into an improved progression-free survival. Now, I, I also think the um, the fact that bulky lymphadenopathy is no longer adverse in, in the Murano study is, um, is compelling that the combination is perhaps better than monotherapy. But can I say, hand on my heart, that uh, it's better? No, there's been no trial. I can add two points. One is that um, we have done a multivariant analysis comparing the, so we did a phase 1b study of uh, rituximab plus venetoclax, so comparing that data with, with the uh, phase 1 study of venetoclax alone. So on the multivariant analysis, uh, adding rituximab seemed to improve the CR rate, complete remission rate. Uh, that's one thing. The second thing is uh, in the gazeva, uh, obinutuzumab plus uh, venetoclax combination, the starting of an uh, obinutuzumab is also a debulking strategy, trying to reduce uh, your tumor burden by the time you're starting venetoclax and therefore reducing, kind of downgrade your TLS risk category. So I think adding the anti-CD20 antibody probably has um, uh, not only debulking effect but also potentially deepen your response. Mm -hmm. Which is important again for venetoclax, which is generally thought of as a fixed duration treatment. Mm -hmm. Especially for fixed duration therapy, the depth of response and achieving MRD is much more important compared to uh, indefinite therapy. therapy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things that I've liked from this ASH, that with longer follow-up, we continue to see that achieving undetectable MRD correlates with a better uh, time in remission.